discussing uh, human microchip implants and we're going a little bit deeper in this segment and we're going to discuss is it the beginning or the introduction of the mark of the beast. Now in researching this, a lot of people say, Lee, that there is not a microchip in this world that's gonna make me any more of a Christian or any less of a Christian. Some think that the mark of the beast, you know, may very well be an implant, but it may not be that implant. Right. So mm -hmm. Well I think when we think about it, I, I, I was gonna use the word when we think about the the when we get into the whole scenario of the beast, of uh, the the actual persona, the characteristics of that person being a master manipulator. Mm -hmm. But then I like something that Trudy um, said earlier when we were talking, she said it's, it helps to desensitize people to what is coming. I and when so. we look at it, we've already kind of been desensitized when we look at even in our country how we have started with debit cards mm -hmm. and replacing right. cash. Mm -hmm. And cash now the system. chip is just taking us mm -hmm. one right. step further past the debit card. Now you notice they've already added the chip mm -hmm. on the debit the card. The so now. now, you know, yeah. the next step would be to introduce you don't need the little plastic. We'll just put the chip on we'll you. We'll you know? right so, yes. yeah. so I think, you know, if we look at the progression of it, I think it helps to get the mind ready and people are not thinking consciously. That's the spirit of right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Really, that's that right. first yes. John 4 and 3 mm -hmm. talks about. Yes. And I think that's what we are seeing. Yeah. We may not have the actual Antichrist right. in the forefront now. We don't know if he's it's just on, working toward But it, right. it is the mm -hmm. spirit of yes. Antichrist mm -hmm. that we see so active in. So are we wrong if we do the microchip? I, I've told my kids, I said, do not take it. Do mm -hmm. not take right. it no matter what. Even if we have to go to jail, do mm -hmm. not take there it. There is a part in time, I think, that we as Christians have to say, you know what, this line, I can't cross it no more. That's because it. when you think about what Lee was saying a few minutes ago, you're dealing with now, if you, I, I've gone to the gas station, whereas they could receive a debit card, they could receive a credit card, but they couldn't receive cash. Right. So oh, therefore yes. I couldn't get right. gas. Right. And yeah. so you can't buy or sell. And so all those kind of things are happening as we remove all of the regular everyday things out mm -hmm. of people's hands. Yes. And so w regardless of whether it is the mark right. or it is getting you to the mark, the bottom line is that you already can't buy or sell mm -hmm. if, they, yes. if they deem it. That's right. what that's what they're going to take. Well, you can't exactly. buy or sell yeah. without your credit card, or yeah. pretty much anymore. Anymore, you, you're just yeah. almost you have to have a card. Society. Society. Right. And a lot of banks are even moving toward that forefront mm -hmm. of not accepting cash anymore. Yeah. I was shocked mm -hmm. when okay. I heard that. Yet wow. the bank does not want to take cash yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. So it really just kind of puts us like, where are we here? Yeah. Right. You know, there's an interesting website called MarkBeast.org, and one thing that they talked about the microchipping was that this isn't it because if you read the actual verse in Revelations, it says that the mark of the beast will be on their right hand or on their forehead. It be visible. So, be it, so visible. it's not, you know, this embedded microchip. So I thought that was interesting, but like Rebecca said, where do you draw the line right. yeah. when you know that it's just see, heading see, in I that remember, direction? I remember my grandmother saying when barcodes came out, mm -hmm. when they started putting barcodes on products, yeah. this is the beginning of the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. A lot well, of she's probably think that. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It probably was the beginning. Mm -hmm. Well, you go from barcodes on things to barcodes yeah, on people. people. And <laughs> then bar yeah, and so all of it is, you know, and, and it, we, we, we have to take a look at the progression because it's written already, but when, in, at what point in time do we begin to prepare for the inevitable? Mm -hmm. Whether it is or not, there is an inevitable. It's yes. already written, so yes. what well, do we, we do? We have to prepare, I think, on a daily basis for that inevitable because eventually it's going to happen and it says we don't know the hour of the day and right. so one day we're going to, you know, kind of wake up and yeah. mm -hmm. it, it's, our, it's already here. Yes. And so if we're not staying mm -hmm. close to the Lord and praying and searching and seeking and not being deceived, because that's what Satan wants yeah. through all this. He wants us to be a sly introduction. Right. And yes. like you said earlier, yes. it's convenient. It's easy. It we're desensitized. Mm -hmm. now, but think about it, Trudy Simmons. Think about uh, 30 years ago, if you had heard <gasps> microchipping <laughs> human <laughs> being <laughs> in class, mm -hmm. You, that yeah. thing would have been so far right. fetched from your mind. You yeah. wouldn't have. Uh -uh, this is something from Mars. I mean, you wouldn't have thought right. about this. No, no. That's yeah. how it comes out. So. That's very it interesting comes on so what quick. you were saying because I was reading an article and I had thought about that. And I was reading an article and one of the young ladies in the article was discussing that she's what we would call one of the millennials, mm -hmm. and she was saying for her a chip would be so much more convenient right. for her. Of course, she they think have that. to carry all yeah. those different pieces of paper. Mm -hmm. But for us, we have a different understanding based yeah. upon you know our generation mm -hmm. and when we arrive. And I can see. Our and we've watched it come out, and they haven't. Desensitized, yes. But I think, too, like for my son, who's 11, we've talked about it. And so he understands it. So if we, again, as we've talked before, 
educate so those yeah. coming up behind us and beneath. Right. We're supposed to right. sit with them in the morning, sit with them in right. the afternoon, right. sit with them at night, mm -hmm. and show them and tell them of the glorious right. works of God and how God brought us out of each. All these kind of things right. that we're commanded to do, but we allow society mm -hmm. yeah. to, to do tell it the for story. us. But yeah. you know, as Christians, I think we're in such um, a hard spot because we take this stance of not being progressive. I yes. hate that word, you know, the, uh, progressive is anything that's not Christian. So um, <laughs> I think that we have to find that voice where we can mm -hmm. say what we're saying, but not sound like we stand against everything that's right. good. And we're not condemning. <clears throat> yeah. You know, right. one revelation that I saw, I think it, it comes from knowledge, when people yes. perish yes. for right. lack of knowledge. Yes. And the word mark is char charagma or charks in the Greek. I probably butchered that which means to stake down into or stick into. Mm -hmm. So the question is, did the prophet John predict this mark as being something that would be injected with a needle, which is that's what mm -hmm. that chip is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you know, if the Bible over 2,000 years ago could predict such world-changing events, shouldn't we consider its warnings? Right. Shouldn't we tell our children? Yes. Shouldn't yes. we wave yes. a red flag and yes. say, yes. do not be deceived. We, right. you know, mm -hmm. we do not need to walk around with Sheets no. over our eyes. We have mm -hmm. to be yeah. open. Because as Christians, you know yourself, the first second you heard, you heard that there's these implants, these yeah. mark of the beast. Was that not the first thing that came to your mind yes. as a Christian? And, and, and the fact that, that the it, was that on that, it was on the, the, what is it, the, 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 the uh, uh, left right. arm, right? It, it, right? I mean, the where, where it's being placed is exactly where the Bible said it yeah. would right. be placed. Right. That right. That's yes. where it's more, most yes. effective. Oh, wow. Yeah. Stay with us. When we return, we're going to discuss what is the mark of the beast. Wow.